done a tour of the downstairs of the cottage, but I thought I'd just give you a quick refresh. We've just been through the utility room, the kitchen, into the breakfast room. The breakfast room has my Emma Bridgewater collection, or the majority of it. We have a landline and that is the landline. It is a proper dial phone and that is used for the mother-in-laws. <laughs> the curtains throughout the ground floor of the cottage are by a company called Linwood from Fordingbridge. And they have partridges on them, very heavy. This sideboard is where I keep my baking items. And above that, we have White Company plates, Denby plates, and plates from Kath Kidson. The wine bottle cage, into the lounge. The cushions here are from a small shop that is inside the Cathedral Close in Salisbury. The sofas are vintage. We've had these for probably nearly 20 years. Um, and it was from a company called Burwoods, which was in Winchester Cathedral Close. The fireplace which is beautiful in the winter. And then the hampers, Fortnum and Mason, because we decided to treat ourselves for our anniversaries one year. Newest addition is this little hot clay pipe. Um, this is a Laura Ashley chair. The oak table was from Burwoods from um, Winchester Cathedral Close. The pictures are quite random around the walls in this room. This was a thrift shop find. This little wash station. Picture taken by my sister-in-law. And I'm going to take you upstairs to view the second floor. There are technically three floors in this cottage. So these stairs are not original. The original ladder would have gone up through here, which would have taken you to the hayloft. And I'll show you where that would come out. So these stairs were put in in the early 1980s. So up on the landing, we have the three doors, all pitch pine. They've all been stripped back with um, forged ironware on them. This chair belonged to my grandmother and was in her back garden for years. And it's a great place. You can pull it up. It's quite heavy, but I can pull it up and look out the window to look at the birds. And this is the only place in the cottage where we have a windowsill, which is here, which is in what was the hayloft. So whether this was then used to pull hay into the hayloft, we don't know because a lot of what was here has now gone. But it's a great, it's the biggest window as well in the whole cottage. So this is where that ladder would come up here. And then you're entering into one half of the hayloft, which is through pegged beams. So going through here, here, original hinges for the door. The door's been moved here, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, and there's another hinge there, part of our fire precaution. And we're right now under the thatch in this part. So we're going to go through the lava and plaster with the mud wall 
into this is where we keep our uniforms we can also look into the back of the fire so here the original beam has been cut to allow access into the master bedroom we do have to step over this beam despite it having this massive hole in it it's pretty solid and then you're going through where they've made another door frame into our bedroom this was the original loft door um, one panel had to be replaced and then we have to pull on this lever to enter the bedroom this bedroom has a really incredible view over the garden and the paddocks beyond um, and it's lovely in full moon because we get a really good view and we can hear the fountain this fabric and the blind is made by a company called Blinds To Go. And this is where you'll see the A-frame structure of the roof of the cottage. So we have original beams going up, through, across. Then you've got the original A-frame beam and they come down. And then what we've got here is an original beam, but this now needs to be um, have extra support. So we now have brand new beams ringing the bedroom to the door and then taking you up to a brand new A-frame because the original A-frame, even though it's still here, was not significantly strong enough to hold up a heavy second floor. So it's lovely that the original was kept. Um, you can see the original beams going through the wall of the cottage here and down with brick infills. Um, so it does drop down fairly low here. These chests of drawers are from a company called The Retro Attic, which is available on Facebook. And we got them in blue because the blue kind of, we like blue. And you can get them, I believe, in grey. Um, and the, the chap that sells them on Facebook, he paints them himself and adds the detail. The bed, unfortunately, the bed company that made this is no longer in existence. Um, the bedding is by Jules. Um, all of the bedding's by Jules. And then the cushions are by, are by Catherine Hampton. And I believe we got those through TK Maxx. And what I love about these, they are in summer mode at the moment. And then in the winter, we flip them over and we add a throw in exactly the same uh, colourway, which is currently downstairs on the Laura Ashley chair, wingback chair. And we're in winter mode. The scent in this room is by the White Company and it's the Seychelles Seashells um, scent by the White Company. So it gives us a lovely smell in here. And I've also got flowers, the light we will replace. And then this door here leads to a secret place that I'm not going to share in this video. But there again is a um, lava and plaster wall. Um, you can see the lava's just coming through there. And this is a really old structure piece of wall and then the original wall that was done when the cottage was built is just behind that so that is protected now so that is hidden behind this layer which was done in the 80s i believe that original layer was done in the 1500s and you can see this door now and see how wormy it is and gnarly it's still on its original hinges here which were moved from previously and then this is a brand new coil on it um, this beam had to be taken out that would have gone across here and like I say it was replaced so this that was the one and only beam I believe that was taken out from here the rest of them are hidden and you can just about see them tucked in behind these big beams and that is part of its grade two listing so we're going to head into the spare bedroom and you immediately notice that this has a ceiling which personally I don't like um, and ideally in the future I would like to take this up 
to the roof trusses because they are absolutely stunning in on the next floor. You can see all the original beams here. And these are in really, really good condition. So no new beams were added to this bedroom. And this is the spare bedroom. And this is where our wardrobes are. So at the moment they are in a very cheap pine, um, but they will be painted the same color as the chest of drawers. Um, this bed was an eBay purchase and the um, quilt on it was an eBay purchase. And again, the blinds in this room are from Blinds to Go, which is an online company. This is an old um, luggage rack from a hotel that was in Bournemouth and it was selling its things. And the luggage on it was a purchase from a local antique centre. This is my son's bedroom. Um, in true teen form, he's still in bed, so I won't go in. I will respect his privacy um, and I won't go in and film that bedroom until he's got some of his personal possessions put away. Um, so that will be for another video. I'm gonna head back down the stairs now. If you can think of any questions, please pop them in the comment below. I will try and do some links to some of the companies that I have mentioned as I've been um, walking around where we've got some of our things from. But I hope you'd enjoyed this tour of our Tudor cottage.